Miss Ayla? Hmm? Oh, hello! hello. How are you doing? You found your way down? That's good. Yeah. I uh, was being given the tour by Bendy. And I asked what was up here because I saw you going up and they said the water shrine. Oh, yeah, yeah. I figured I'd make some rounds. <laughs> uh, uh, not really sure how the spiritual energy on Hellion works, but like on my planet, uh, sometimes you... Oops, tracking. <laughs> sometimes you, uh, you know, you give the spirits a little bit of your, uh, you know, uh, attention and they'll give you a blessing, you know? <laughs> So, not sure if that the uh, uh, spirits are into that here, but I am starting my rounds now, just seeing and hoping. But, yeah. What is, uh, what's the water right. shrine used for? I mean... That's what I'm not 100% sure about. I actually was going to go and see if I could find any <laughs> locals and see if there were any traditions that I could kind of get caught up on and write in my journal and just find somewhere nice to study also, but huh. yeah. So what this is, doing down here? I've just been being shown around. That's pretty much it. I've talked to some people, but if this is the water shrine, does that mean every area or district has a shrine? Um, I've been to a few of them. I. I don't think every element has one, but there are yeah. quite a few. Yeah, uh, I know Bendy fire. showed me one in this cave with all these mushrooms, and Bendy didn't know what it was for, but... Oh. It just yeah, looked so, like one of those, uh, yeah, but I'm... it was kind of more green-ish, but like a weird light green. Hmm. And Bendy doesn't know, huh? He was one of the people I was thinking about asking, but... <laughs> you know mm. he's still getting used to things <laughs> mm -hmm. but I'm not really sure what the water shrine is used for I'm just uh, you know giving a little bit of patronage <laughs> mm -hmm. that's nice well but all, all of the shrines do seem to be in kind of precarious places <laughs> yes if people were to come here to offer their prayers or whatever it, it's kind of a treacherous journey to get up here i mean it's not very safe true it is uh you know shows your dedication <laughs> to attempting though or maybe they don't want people coming up here and that's why it's <laughs> difficult could be i wonder what are my chances to just die right in the middle of it I'll test that one day. I, I wouldn't recommend I that. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, the water's deep enough. I've been down there before. You've jumped down there before? No, I've just been down in that water before. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, but even from certain heights, you know, you can get hurt. So you have to be careful. Yes. I know the law. Uh, the surface tension will probably break something. That's why I will have to throw a grenade down there first. I wouldn't recommend any of that. <laughs> You're going to have such it's appearance fine. with all the commotion. Not, I mean, if they didn't get mad at Miss Skylar, they're not going to get mad much, at me. But it makes you want to propel, so be very careful. <laughs> I mean, I heard, uh, oh, I came up here after you, Miss Ayla, because uh, Miss Jacqueline had already uh, fallen off. Make sure you are traveling fine. She fell? She, uh, is she okay? Uh, yeah, she, her clothes are in the fire district right now, drying. I'm on the wall. Oh, okay. uh, that was the one in the bathing suit in the cafe. I'm assuming. Yes, Miss Jacqueline. As many places as a change in and getting things fixed up, they really need to go work on their shrines. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we always talk about how we need more railings everywhere. Yeah, possibly. I mean, uh, in terms of the water spit you're talking about, um, uh, CC had told me they, they are fine. They're kind of carefree. I mean, the Grove Mother can be kind of mean, 
um, last time I talked to her. Oh. Talked to her in general? I don't think she's talked to me. What do you mean? What does she mean about I don't know. I don't know. That we were just minding business. Uh, she kind of like threw some brambles out the ground and scratched my leg. I think she didn't like that slowness of people in there. Kicked a lot of people out. Aww. What part did not like about Mr. Sloan? I don't think... Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if the well, fond of mini corporates. I need to decide how brave I want to be in going to the other shrines. <laughs> I mean, if you hmm. want to, I mean, I could, uh, you know, make up for that little piece of bravery you're lacking for right now. Catch if you end up falling. You carry rope on yeah, you after all. Yeah. It might, it might be, might be helpful. But maybe before I even I mean, go to them, I should uh, see if I can find some traditions or something. Ask someone who lives here. I don't know. I mean, if Fritz can just walk in, do what the Fritz things does, and just walk out, I don't think there's much of a tradition. But I'm um, worried about walking there. Be like, like I've walking? seen the fire go. one. The fire one is I mean, very can... precarious. <laughs> well, I think it's a little bit better than usual. I mean, I'd go first to make sure things don't break. I'm heavier than you, probably. But it's on like a single beam. It's 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 scary. I know that was a single beam. <laughs> if you can do that, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. I gotta check I... on the furnace anyway. You do well. Well, well, I'll accompany sure you. <laughs> Uh, if there are traditions, it'd probably be the spirits that know. I mean, the Undercity hasn't been, well, here for long, has it? Uh, I guess I wouldn't really know. I haven't been on Hell I mean, who? Long. I mean, maybe it'd be a good question to ask who made the shrines. What you doing? Oh, uh, 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 the fire shrine. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a question about about it? Uh, they were curious about traditions, but I don't. I don't think we have anybody to do that right now. But you, you can go there and, 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 and talk to it, but there won't be anyone there. Okay. I'm just RP, uh, giving my patronage and hoping to get a blessing <laughs> <laughs> for a long term. I'm just RP, I'm learning where learning. everything is. <laughs> Where does it's like? Is there a shrine that is, uh, you know, known for cool. health or, you know, uh, I that's don't stuff? know that. Uh, that's probably a maroon question, to be honest. I wonder if he's here. Maybe CC. I see the one of those. I wonder two. if they're here today. I mean, Miss Vanessa has been here a while, probably, so she might know too. Those are the main three magic I know folks. That the floated, so getting any kind of information from them. Looks like they're trying to fix it. Depends if they have any books that they uh, locked over. Good luck. Well, it sure is an incinerator. And it looks like they've been working on it. More of a platform, huh? Yeah, I don't really. Uh... Wait, are there single? Are these single beams still? I don't. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's really hot in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe it'd be best not to. I mean, you don't even know the traditions yeah, yet. It, it it might be a. I'm radiant. <laughs> yes, yes, important. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how to fix it either, so... <laughs> if you need help, we can help you later. Thank you. I I, I don't so even think it'd be worth it. fixing something. Yeah! This is what I meant by maybe we can find someone who knows what is yes. what, associated with what shrub. I mean, who even built the pathways? Was it people? Was it spirits? Do the spirits even want people at their shrines? Be... I would imagine it would be people wanting the crystals, right? 
The crystals, what what are they used for? Well, from what I know, you can grind them down into dust and use them in alchemy mm -hmm. and enchanting items and all sorts of stuff like that. They're mostly, uh, they're mostly like energy of the specific kind of magic and they're charged with it. Um, yeah, but I don't really know too much about it. I'm, I'm lucky that all of my stuff just naturally <laughs> kind of comes from my mm -hmm. racial traits and stuff, so. But where did you travel then? I traveled from pretty far away, a planet called Zayt. Um, and I, I heard things about Helion and decided it would be a good opportunity. I came here to kind of get away from things and move forward in my life. Mm. Hopefully. Well, <laughs> if you're getting away from things, you sure are getting into some things by coming here, I suppose. Yeah, well, I already expected that. I'm trying to help people with, well, mental problems caused by magic. And that's not really what I was taught when I went to college. Magic is kind of a new thing for me. I've been delving into it in the last year, but I'm hoping to research more about it during my time here. Hopefully coming down here, I, I heard there was books in the Knowledge District, possibly. In that sanctum or Oh. Well, we can go look together if you want, if you're trying to learn about that stuff. You know, actually, um... You might get some interest out of this book I have here. Um, uh, it was written by a man who specialized in a... Well, it's a notebook. <laughs> it's not a book, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of helpful things in it. Um, unfortunately, he's not super well regarded anymore, but he was a specialist in mind magic. Uh, mind magic? His name is James that's, Cross. Yeah. That's, a, that's what I'm looking for. Sort of. So maybe after this we can go sit somewhere and look over it because yes. I've been meaning to look over the spell he was attempting to teach me and I've shown a little bit of prowess for mind magic and if you're learning about that for psychiatry yes. things it could be pretty helpful. Yes, well, I, I hope so. I believe I can... Feeling anxious? Yes, I mean, my first time down here in the Undercity, it, it's it's a lot. I mean, to think that all of this is down underneath the row, I mean, there's so many places down here that are just beautiful. It's amazing. I told, I was told that really everything is. was built by the community here, and it's just, it's bizarre to me that the community could make something so much better to me, at least, so much better than the row. I mean, the row is quite bleak, dark. It's nothing to really admire, but down here, it's fantastic. Well, when you have a community in turmoil that's, you know, oppressed, you can get together and do a lot of good things. <sighs> and there's really no corporations that own the Undercity? I mean... A lot of them vie for parts of it as it becomes, you know, how you say, more put together in a community worth investing in. They didn't uh -huh. want to originally, but now, you know, now that, now that the Undercity folk have done the work, <laughs> now yes. they're interested, so... I do you know, know Avalon owns the oh, clinic in the scene district, so... Oh, he said hello. He said hello? That was the first. Yeah, I told him you were the little pink, the little pink cutie over there wanted to say hello. <laughs> well, now I'm nervous. So hopefully, I, I'm gonna wait. And mm -hmm. you describing me like that to a <laughs> you're silly. I mean, it's accurate. Mm -hmm. You seem to be fond of gunpowder from my bullets, so it looks like a Lego. Oh, he liked that? Cute. Keep jerking on accident. Yeah. Wait. 
My life. I don't think about breakers or stuff. Oh, my feet are up in the air. Let me know. <laughs> no, I'll let you know if you're doing yoga. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell some of these places are odd to get to. I mean, there's the one that you probably won't like. Uh, we're probably gonna have to go down the, the rope to get there, but... Rope? Um, that depends if you want to go on an adventure. Down? Wait, no, yeah! Wait. I think that, uh... Dr. Blake and I were thinking that we'll probably try to establish which ones are good for what, and then <laughs> do the dangerous adventuring. After. <laughs> I mean, I've been down there a lot. I mean, just don't fall into the chronic acid. Uh, uh, I'm I'm sorry, sir. Yes. I I never I never introduced myself. I've been a bit all over the place since I've been down here. I I am Dr. Jensen Blake. I'm a psychologist. Nice to meet you. I saw you talking to some people earlier. Yes, and and you are. Uh, Leon Omelith, uh, I guess your friendly neighborhood mercenary. I guess that's the be the best mercenary. title to use. I see. Yeah, sounds like you'd get a lot of work on Helion with that kind of job. Uh, yes, no, nobody, re nobody really hires me that much. To be honest, it's more so I do my own thing and kind of get rewards for it sometimes. Most of it I just do just because it's just the pace, so I don't really get paid for that. That's just my hobby. I see. Like, I didn't get paid for this big situation that I was down here in the Undercity. I was mostly me getting shit together, making deals for a non-monetary gain. I But, uh, I all that situation has been dealt with, so... Mm, I, I it's heard. quiet again. He's more, like, superhero-esque. Do things for the better of the people rather than them for what it seems. Because you're always helping I mean, people. What is nice every now and then? I'm not I mean... saying that you can't get one, <laughs> but you do put that, um, you know, prospect aside a lot. It's appreciated. I try to keep, you know, put the best foot forward. You set an example, I guess. Or else, what, who else is gonna do it? You sound like a very hard worker. worker. It's more good Samaritans. Uh, I've been told that, and I've been told I do silly things while I work hard, but <laughs> I don't have better alternatives. How am I supposed to get a crystal if I if I don't have the equipment, you know? Well, I'll just use a pickaxe, even if it might explode. <sighs> well, <laughs> well, that you sounds know, dangerous. If, if you just ask someone that knows how to do it, they I did. Nope. You. Nobody knows. Nobody's even. Uh, nobody knew what these things were until I brought it back and asked them. Wait, which thing? Pretty. Uh, I was out in the wastelands collecting shit. I found a, I think they call it a volcano. Hmm. Hmm. It looks like a Hello, uh, Mr. Dexter. I actually think it might be closer oh. to fire crystal. Maybe I'll actually spare it the next time I see him out right there. Maybe he knows. That's actually curious. Hmm. hmm. I'll keep that I know in mind. you can find some of those things out there in the waste. I never really adventure out there though. Yeah, I, kind of treacherous. Uh, I plan to visit Scrap Town and offer bandits, my services. Sandworms, but, well, bugs. You know, the works. Uh, anything I've probably found down there, I've, I've killed, so. Mm. I have a decent idea of what's around. I don't know if this door is oh. open more. Te <laughs> well, it's technically open when stuff. we left the season. <laughs> Is this like out of character in terms of control of? Did they even give it a name yet? Council. Council has. The council is fully it. uh fixed. It. Yeah, and it's okay. like a free public library, and most of the books are pretty sparse. I mean, I heard they were trying to get them back from fire, so. I've been around here like once or twice. I would say that pretty much none of this is failed. Maybe like one of those. Probably that. That now. looks so that funky. Cracks. That one shelf looks like it belongs in like a secret 
tunnel. Because it is. It's so, <laughs> it looks so odd. Is it? Is it actually? Yes. That's crazy. Yes, face. you can open it and go through it. I'm going to be nosy just because this is like OOC. Please don't tell me this is actually Is this library Fritz was talking about? Oh, God. They are currently trying to revamp everything it's uh mm-hmm. you know pretty burnt still <laughs> probably yeah. only this shelf of books is actually here <laughs> oh. well i i've only been down here uh a couple weeks ago for mp's funeral and i heard that fritz was accepting donations and i gave him fifty thousand credits to help rebuild the library so i wanted to come see how that was progressing Slowly but surely, and it looks like they yeah. put in a an enchanting bench, which is good. That yeah. was that's actually new, so you know. Awesome. Very good. But this is uh have you met Mr. Blake yet? Uh we met in the cafe, Blake, but, but I, I didn't properly introduce. Yes, I didn't properly introduce myself. I am a uh, Dr. Jensen Blake. Awesome, nice to meet you. Psychologist. If you do want oh, to very good. Size, let yes. me know. I'll just show you around so you don't fall. It's nice to meet you. I run you. the hotel up in the row. What radio are you I on? I see. If you need any uh, psychological I'll help, use 10 for now. especially that of the okay, magical yeah. kind, Thank any you. magical elements on your hmm. mind that I'm yeah. currently trying to deal with. You know those, what they say? So. Call me, beat me if you need to reach Okay. Me. I will definitely let you know. Uh, yeah. Do you right. work down here or up in the I row? Am, I'm currently in the inner city temporarily, but I'm trying to move into oh, the okay. row. So hopefully okay. I'll be in there sometime. Yeah, soon. I don't. Okay, hopefully, because I don't get to come down here too often. Today's like one of my days off, so I just decided to come down and enjoy the sights and stuff. I visit yeah. MP's grave, which was That's nice. They got a really statue nice. up over by the scrapyard. It's really nice looking. I saw that. It was. I don't know if I've seen it yet. It was quite stark oh, yeah. compared to right, all the scrap. Right outside Fritz's shop. Yeah, she was a special little synth. Left a in our hearts. <laughs> but she was Do you she work in here? Miss Ayla, I saw there was also like a school down there. Are you a teacher at all? Or? No, I just have access to it. Um, anyone oh, with okay. magical affinities usually can open the door and, you know, slap it and it opens, especially since the council has made it more of a oh. public space. Oh, it's public, so I'm allowed in here then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Public okay. Space. Okay. But, but uh, right. no, not a teacher. Still learning. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm sorry if I interrupted you guys. I just wanted no, to come check this out, but. You good. All right. All right. Well, you guys take care. I'll see you around. Yes, you as well. Bye bye. <sighs> Is there anything specific you're thinking about for learning? Uh, mind magic specifically. It's it's not a. I mean, magic itself is still quite unknown, but mind magic is even more. I can't find anything on it. So I was hoping maybe there was some kind of physical documents here about it. We'll have to go over uh, my notes here. But sometimes, well, I'm sure there's been a class so far. Maybe you should, uh, you know. Check this out. Mm. This is just the basics and core of, you know, magical learning in general and how some of it started happening in the first place. But if we go this way. I would imagine there'd be there's been a community class by now, so mm-hmm. if we're lucky, there'll be... Oh, oh there you are. Yes. <laughs> Something on the chalkboard. <sighs> oh, good. Keeping the basics going. These are all the different affinities you can have. Huh. 
the center here we have mana, which is what I specialize in. And mind is something that comes from mana. So typically, those that use mind magic have a special affinity for mana in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I, I believe mind magic is what I might be able to use. It's also what I'm specifically trying to treat because it seems like it has some negative effects when be when used. Oh? Like what? Um like uh um like when people use it they uh they start to gain different mental problems, maybe like a phobia where they become obsessive over something specific. It's and it, it's not normal. It happens because of their use of the magic. It's like it mm. it just has negative effects when used. I don't know. I'm trying. That's why I'm trying to research it more so that I can better treat said things. Well, uh, I can I get as bad as. Ever... Somebody could totally shut down mentally. Like, could completely n go crazy and just break down. And... So I'm trying to make sure I can stop that from happening to people. Yeah. Well, we can go through my book here. Honestly, I haven't heard of anything like that with mind magic. I do know that people can be allergic to magic or have, you know, bad reactions to it. And maybe that's playing a part. Um, but that's so strange. I haven't heard anything like that before. You mentioned affinities. What are you? Is it possible to be given an affinity? Because I've not always had a mind of magic affinity. No. What? It's not something Usually I you had, are... I, something I gained in the last year. Yo, that's, that's a scout. Talking... Mm. A little bit. Go. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't sure if I was hearing you. Okay. <laughs> Well, usually you are born with affinities that are then attuned to in the, like, through, you know, practice or um, sometimes just circumstance will have it um, emerge and be more, um, you know, prominent. Uh, so it's not, it's not unusual that you only just now have started to kind of uh, feel these things or get in tune with it um and sometimes it's just age you know if you weren't from hellion you came to hellion and, um and suddenly you started feeling that stronger it's probably the magical energy and essence of undercity kind of imbuing you in the long run but uh um, yeah i mean so did you have any of these things before you moved here it's not something that is gifted to you then not that i can I mean... You can't be given a... given magic from, like... It's like a person, or... You can get magic... You know, that's a good question, because you can be given abilities from... the spirits, so... Hmm... Yeah. Interesting. I might have to, uh... I have to go through the book and, and see. <laughs> I, I'm still learning, too. I uh, haven't been here for too long, either, so... Yeah. But... Uh, I'll have to see. Bling, Maybe, bling. Uh... Announcement for the Undercity. The Pfizer Diner is now open. Get your food now. Bling, bling. Hmm. Mm. Well, you seem a little stressed about it. Are you hearing or feeling pain, or...? No, no, you know? I'm... I'm... I'm fine. It's just... I... Just want to make sure that this mind element is 
what I'm looking for or not. I'm not really sure. I mean, I have some research to go off on, but it's not. It doesn't mention any of this, so... Now, when you say that given to you someone, what do you mean by that? Well... Like... Um... Like... I don't... I believe this power was... This magic that I, I may have... I haven't really used it much. It was was given to me by someone or something. Or... Is that not normal? Or... I'm just, just... just curious. Just talking it out. Sometimes it helps. Who do you think gave it to you? <sighs> I... Okay, out of character, would Titan tell me their name? <laughs> um, it's yeah, it's usually like a they don't outright say who they are. They just are like, mm -hmm. "Would you like to make a pact?" Yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, RP card up. <clears throat> <laughs> I uh. I'm not really sure. We, it wasn't very formal. They uh, didn't give me a name. They just offered me knowledge, the ability to use this magic, and I really wanted to know how it worked. So I took the offer, and well, I, I guess I can use it now. And what is it that you can do? Um... Well... I, uh... I can help people, um... Dealing with... Set of elements from... The same magic I use. I, I can help prevent that. You know, if they, they come see me... Uh, for a therapy session, I, I can help them... Keep their sanity keep it up um and if there's any effect on their mind that is not natural that is specifically a source of them using this magic i can take it from them if it is really bad i haven't really done it much it's i haven't actually done it at all yet but that's what i've been told i can do it's what I wanted. Um, I can also help give people resistance to set effects from the magic I use um, on their mind specifically. Give their mind resistance to the magical effects uh, to help prevent said things happening in the near future. <sighs> so it's... Mm. Like a mind fortress. It seems so odd. I do know that um, sometimes the greater spirits will give their blessing, and sometimes there can be, you know, um, abilities attached to it, but. Do you know if this spirit what it sounds like at least is uh reaching out to others or um yes it yes it is mm. well that's not good especially if it's making people lose their sanity I think the magic is just too much for some people to bear on their minds. It's just... I... Uh, not everybody is... Uh, it's not natural for everybody to have magic, right? If you're not born with it, then you probably can't handle its effects, I would assume. I... Well... 
I mean, unless you have an allergy, from what I understand, you can be affected. <sighs> so it seems rather strange to have a spirit that is damaging its patron's psyche. It, it doesn't work with the ecosystem of, you know, patronage and then making your... I mean, from what I got to them, Your it didn't sound like they hurt. want to hurt them, but I'm not sure. It's hard to judge somebody's character from just a short talk. Did you see them? Did I? No, no. I only heard them. They just spoke to me. <laughs> then again, it was probably hard for me to see a lot of the time. Do be careful, and at least you're there to help those that are also inflicted, but... Yeah. Something sounds not good about that, Dr. Blake, so do be careful. It's a dangerous thing, but in the book when I was approached, it was a deal I had to make. I had to agree to it, so... <sighs> but... Other people will do a lot, and they don't have a lot. Do you have to like, get different sizes when you like grow up? Is that like super like awkward? Do you have to like feel like your head like squeeze? Well, <laughs> you'll figure it out. And Masaru was the corporation that was born here on Hellion. We'll probably be able to figure out something with them. I have a pretty good connection there, honestly. <laughs> so maybe I can help you out. Does that mean you don't have a Yeah. I, uh... I plan to inquire once I've fully moved in to, uh, the road to see if Avalon will be willing to hire me because... Well, I... I mean, I'd be nice to have a steady income. So... True. And hopefully and maybe I can this is affecting other people... It would be probably good for the community as a whole, <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah, they might need a psychologist, but I I doubt there's a psychologist there that can help with whatever is... whatever I'm trying to treat. Well, we can only learn treatment through perseverance and keep on trying. <laughs> it's, it's And difficult. sooner it'll be less scary. It's difficult because... They could easily look at it and just say that they have a mental problem caused by trauma or whatever, but magic is now another source that they might not even realize. And so I'm trying to make sure, especially because if it is magic, I might be able to treat it. If it is magic, a good old fashioned dispel magic spell might work too. Mm. I see. Yeah, I, I don't really know much about magic, other than what I use, so... Yeah. Yeah. Do you, uh, <laughs> you want to read that book, or...? Sure! Maybe we can go sit down, um... I don't know if we should go here. I did hear there's a cafe around here. It might be kind of fun. I did stop or... there earlier. They have some pretty nice coffee. It was down in the hmm. Knowledge District. Well, let's go over there. And if not, yeah. have you been to the Grove area yet? Uh, the Grove. I've been all over the place, but I wasn't really given names for a lot of the places other than the districts. Ooh. Oh, hey, Bendy. Hi, Bendy. Oh. He's holding a bunch of swimwear and stuff. Hey. Are you going Ooh, to going the swimming? hot springs? That is. Yeah. That'll be good. Mm. Sounds good. like it'd be very mm. relaxing. I hope you have a good time. Mm hmm. Oh, doing good. Yeah, yes. under city. I'm. I'm doing great. You. I okay. am doing good. 
Distracted. <laughs> the onsen can be very, very nice, so if you've been stressed lately, I do recommend yes. going and uh, taking a dip. I believe I actually recommended that to, to Bendy, because I had heard about it, although I never been down here. I didn't know where it really was. Well, I know you might not have come prepared, but after some learning, just, you know, dipping your feet in, relaxing, meditating, might do you some good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> It's gonna be, there's not a lot of therapeutic places in the row, at least from what I've seen. It's a lot of, it's very loud there. It very much can be. I, I and Richard, um, whom I think you met briefly yes. in the row, um, typically we hide away in some of the, uh, public balconies. Hmm. <laughs> I see. need a moment of silence. Yes, I'm. Nope. Uh, I very much enjoy being in a quiet place and reading a nice book. That's. I'm not much of the the nightclub goer. <laughs> I'm not either. Yes, I've I've been here. As uh. Yeah, Bendy showed me this place. We didn't really go over here though. Why is there a dock here in the middle of this pond? Uh -huh. Well, I'm not sure. It seems new, though. Guess the uh, spirit doesn't seem to uh, mind. Hmm. <laughs> What's that place up there? Oh, um, that's where all the crops are grown. Oh, the Undercity grows its own food? crops? Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, if you ever have fresh food, it's usually from there, so, yeah. I see. Pull in my chair over here as I get comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Pull stocking off with two shoes. <laughs> I'm making myself comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now... <sighs> we'll RP card down what I know about my mm. magic. <laughs> Sick. Pretty much in this book. It's probably gonna say that it shouldn't have any uh, problems. Uh, usually the, fel the spell just fails if uh, you're not doing it right. It doesn't cause any kind of, like, damage. There are patrons that you can get. Or not really patrons, that's the wrong word. But, like, um, you know, if you do go to the... Earth Spirit, she'll give you a blessing, or and it'll help you like with plus two HP points or something for a session, or which is sounds like not you would be able to deduce. I'm sure that that is not. Mm -hmm. This is all public, you know, knowledge. Yes. So I'm telling you this. It's not like your character progressing or anything, you know. <laughs> so because <laughs> this is all just already known, but. My character doesn't know. Yeah, it's it, so. probably true. We're gonna take whatever we want with a grain of salt. <laughs> but a lot of these mind spells are pretty similar to psionic ones. They just are a little less. They're probably less strong. 
without the detriment. So it's like, oh, you know, generally they're to help people. Well, like psionics are more like, I would say like, almost like selfish spells. Like they serve a purpose to the caster. Well, like I, I mean, both of my spells magics. like don't help me, so. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Or you know what I mean? They're very like sac. They're either sacrificial. Yes. They're sacrificial in some way. Do you know what I mean? Like either you are doing a detriment to someone else, or you are sacrificing greatly to help another person. Yeah, well, mind, mind spells are much more like invasive telepathy. Or medium whatever, so. kind of like, oh, I'm gonna make you not feel pain, or your drunkenness has gone away, or like Ayla has a disarm spell where it makes everyone just drop anything that they consider a weapon you know they're but they don't hurt anyone or cause like tracking or whatever mm -hmm. you know what i have a question if you know the answer mm -hmm. to the mind fortress spell because it gives resistance to psionic effects would that include the madness rolls and such Is that one that you picked from the psionic yes. spell list? That is one I picked from mm. the psionic spell list. I'm not sure if it, it... Does it say anything in the spell? Let me try and... Uh... Oh, goodness. Uh... see if I can open this without crashing. <laughs> oh gosh, don't crash! <laughs> well, I have to open my browser, so... <laughs> hold my... on, mine's already open, so hold on a second. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Maybe if I didn't have, like, 50 tabs open, you know? Well... <laughs> I think it, it, do, it's just do. give person resistance to psionic effects. That's all I remember, though. Oh. It's called what? Mind Fortress. There's a new and one willing creature you touch gains major resistance to psionic effects. This does not need a GM to roll, but a GM will make you into playing new things and roll for madness. I would say probably not. Well, resistance to psionic effects. Which, would, if it's not madness, then that would just be specifically if some other psionics user casts on that person, which there's not a lot. But, uh... I think that it wouldn't count because I'm pretty sure there's, like, a specific spell that stops madness from happening. And that would, like, counteract it if it did it. Me? I don't remember seeing one for that. Mm. I don't know. Oh, I don't know either. Oh, I'm not a it's very fine. good... Uh, it's I don't, fine. It's fine. I don't know My much Discord about Discord just crashed. It's fine. No! You don't... I... You do not need to answer now. This is... I just wanted to know if you knew off the top of your head. I do not... I'm not very knowledgeable about the psionic stuff, honestly. <laughs> That's totally okay. That's totally fine. Don't worry about it. <sighs> well... I mean, I had a little bit of knowledge about, you know, how the spirits may grant you something, but... It doesn't... it seems similar, but not the same. Something seems... Well, I 
suspicious about whoever. What's all this stuff over here? Oh, I'm not sure. Somebody's making a little collection. Maybe a spirit? Or was somebody buried there? Hmm. Not sure. Hmm. Well. It's probably not that... It, it's fine. I was just curious. You never know. So I will give my... Quick bow. Because I do know people get buried here. <laughs> So would you like to go to that cafe, or...? Well, sure. Yeah, we can walk around. Maybe go... I'm not even sure who's here today. Seems kind of quiet. Yeah, I've, I've met a few people, but... It's... <laughs> I've been kind of off with introductions because it's it's just been a it's been quite a, a lot coming down here. It's very different. It can be quite a bit to intake for sure. Checking the place out. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Hmm. How about some uh, dumplings? I can get you some dumplings. Do you want some? I might try some of the coffee. Yes, I am. <laughs> And uh, some coffee for uh, Miss Ayla here. I'll get you some coffee. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Thank you very much. All right. Make sure I get this. Do payment. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Dropping stuff, pardon me. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Hello? Careful, careful, careful. Oh, oh. hello, hello? Oh, I'll hello? get you one. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's here, it's here, don't worry. Careful, Miss Ava. <laughs> Scans things, scans it. Why is it doing that? Uh, great. All right, perfect. <laughs> All right, thank you. This. Is, oh, hi, Miss Amelia. How are you doing? Hey, hey. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Did my, like, what have my, you been like, up to? Uh, parfait shop, getting food. Now I'm here getting some coffee. So. Oh, nice. Mm. Are you guys running this one too, or just, uh... Oh, no, this is kind of like cool. new. Yeah, everything's <laughs> been opening up. A whole bunch of new things, so... <laughs> uh-huh. Well, it looks very good, um, so I hope you do enjoy. I'd like a latte. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can get you a latte. Jackie! Hey, uh, Richard fell off the water shrine. Are you okay? What? Oh, yeah, that's how that happened. Um, yeah, I'm okay. Um, my clothes got pretty wet. You didn't, but you didn't see it was the water shrine. Oh, okay. I didn't call I assumed the top of the water shrine. The springs or something, and, like, your clothes fell in. No, I fell off, so I fell off, like... Huh? There you go. How high you want to come inside? The window. Come on inside. No. Yeah. Uh, no, it's like, it wasn't like from the top. It was like. Oh, hey, boss. Hey. Uh, hey. Like, it's. Yeah. Uh, Travis was in it's here fine, you probably. Zooming through. I, I survived. <laughs> no, I haven't seen him in yeah, a while. Fine. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Yeah, he was. Last I heard him, he was shouting above the store. 
How about you? Do you like I've never been to the water. I'm doing good. <laughs> Just walking around, trying to see. So uh, any information on uh, trying yeah. specialize in many things <laughs> like I don't know health or luck or something like that, and then maybe you know. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't see why not. I got a wish for something. You know, just trying to make sure I'm on the right side of everyone's good side <laughs> here on Hellion. So, you know, uh, does anyone know anything about that? Nope. If it's involving magic in the shrines, probably somebody in the sanctum. So, I don't maroon if he's here. Uh, I don't know if CC would know anything about that. <laughs> I didn't really Maroon's see anyone around. around. So... No, I have to There's Rosario, the wizard from the row. <laughs> yeah, he, he might turns, know. He, turns, he, he brings food to life, so maybe not him. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I am looking depending. for, you know, good health and, and life type of stuff, so, you know, maybe he would know. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I, I guess he, I will. Uh, be careful with that. If he have a, if he has a history of turning things to life, you know, I'm not sure you want to like mess with that too much. Uh, I okay, can do right. this. Yeah. What I do, yeah. try to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess that, I'll keep like wandering around and look or... for clues. <laughs> what is you know? that? Yeah. I mean, if the you sanctum's know, open, I don't know if there's anybody here who can open it up right now, but... Ago, this oh, I opened it! Oh, it's, yeah, it's a community ah, no thing, so... It just opens up on oh, its own I thought you needed... Time. That's it's a library now, all right. right. Okay. Well, you need magic to open it, but it technically is a community okay. library. Oh, so no. yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, then, yeah, there's probably something in there, if you haven't already checked yeah, yeah, all the way, I guess. Yeah, it's we pretty bare since yes. the explosion. Yeah. Have you tried asking the giant monster at the bottom of the pipes? Why do you keep talking what? about that? The it's what? It's a skull. I'm interested. It's an unanswered question. You mean, why would you we mean ask? You big monster what? at the bottom of that hole? I, I don't think that big I mean, monster... Why not? Is that what's mm. down there? It might have some wisdom. Why is that down there? It's just a skull. Um, is it a I skull? I it's something alive. I feel like I'm too nervous to ask. <laughs> yeah. That's a fair question. Yeah. Like uh, don't want to fall in the hole. Like what? Yeah. Or something. I just want to know. Well, we can go is. keep exploring this. Yes, do Jackie, want... do not go down there. Do you want the rest of my time? You know what? Or... You've already fallen in the hole. Sure. You know what? I, I'll go ahead. Thank you. Do you want to jump in the hole? I don't know. I mean, not not jump in the hole, but like with a system of police. Mountain X. Uh, yeah, but with. I already heard you fell off the water people. shrine. Uh, you want? What's with you and like? Do you really want to fall into water? Um, no, it's not. This isn't exactly a trend for me, but like, come on. Be, do, do, aren't you at least a bit curious? Is, is am I the only one? Right. Did you? Did, right did, did you? Did you consider this I, in front of the sanctum? Yeah, I would ask the people who I hang out at the sanctum more often than not. Like, here, get a fishing pole, know. attach a camera to the fishing pole, and just lower it into the hole. Do that. That's pretty smart. Somebody fell down there once and lived. Dangle traps That's, down there. What? They did. Who okay, so fire never yeah. fell down there once and lived. <laughs> Who? What? <laughs> <laughs> they won. Okay, the, uh, the uh, Valkyrie. Well, they're kind of a little bit dead now because they got executed for treason <laughs> against the corporation. <laughs> but you know, she somebody, definitely like fell down. She, no, had gone she did down it there. for the vine in quotation marks. Um, but she what does that even down mean? And then somehow appeared the next day. I don't fucking know. Wait, who? Very good at jumping. She wasn't supposed to go down there, but she did. It happened, it happened right fucking in front of me. It wasn't like some kind of like editing stuff. No, she definitely like fell down there, and then she was just at work the next day. So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe even death can't stop you from you know uh, showing up to work the next day. <sighs> fucking corporate life. Lamau. I mean, I guess if you can travel there, corporate like, we'll life. Answer. Yeah. I, guess, I don't know if that's uh. a magic thing, but people could probably do that. I could. What? Yeah, I could probably talk to a ghost. Mm. You could talk to a ghost? Interview a ghost, Jackie. 
I mean, anyone that can talk to a ghost, it depends on if the ghost wants to listen or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ghost that survived but died later. I feel like the camera on the fishing pole would be easier in the long run. And then you get killed later on. It, it is, but, okay, but but the whole talking to ghosts thing is also an intriguing idea for other reasons. Because there's a lot of dead people I want to talk to. Also, ghosts exist? That's news. Just uh, yeah, I mean, it's my I first time seeing If you can see spirits! I mean, it's my first time seeing it's spirits. Ghosts. It's ghosts! little guys, they're not ghosts. Like There's like a big ghosts. difference, a pretty big difference between little floaty guys and like the, the dead. I don't see how those two that follows at all, but they'd be related. Oh, it's over here? Well, yeah, the person that fell down the, the, the well or whatever uh -huh. over there, yeah. Feels good to be back up. Hmm. I think I remember them. I was constantly breaking. Oh, I remember them. I remember them. I was constantly yeah. healing their broken legs because they were jumping off of things. Yeah, and then they Down jumped the off the, the. There's like a little Down platform or something above the the giant well. Whoa. They jump off of that and missed uh, and fell into the well. Hello. But uh, they appeared the hello. next day at work, and then uh, like a month later, got executed for treason. Uh, you know. I think it was a treason well. charge. Or maybe it was espionage. Strange. I can't fucking remember. They tried to like bomb. They got into a lot of trouble. Stuff, I remember so, that. You know, uh, assassination yeah. attempt against uh, corporate uh, representatives because at the time it was like a representative. So they had a lot of fucking charges on them, like kind of stacked up. Oh yeah, also terrorism charges because they were actually bombing places. I, I can't. I can't. Do that. So, yeah, I don't um, think they're around. No, I think. They sound pretty. Yeah, that was sound kinda cool, yeah. a lot of drama around them, from what I recall. Uh, yeah, well, maybe if I find someone who knew them. Well, they knew them. I mean, so, I knew them, but I don't like... really know what's down there. Yeah, I really but, know them, but you, you've already just explained what you know, which is that they fell down the hole. Unless you, yeah. you know what, you know what they saw. No. no. Somebody... Right. You know how to summon, we exactly summon the like, ghost? As it turns out, we were like, just like, uh, I kind of scammed them, or at least tried to like scam them out of like a contract. Although it wasn't really like a scam, it was kind of like trying to keep like Valkyrie legitimate because they weren't actually providing their services or whatever. So it was actually kind of just, you know, uh, trying to get like a good deal or whatever. So we weren't exactly best of friends. Probably. So, you know, I was like, we casually talk, talked about it or whatever. <sighs> I mean, and they're down Don't, they're don't down look down the pit, Dr. Like, Blake! Like, like, <laughs> fucking <slug. laughs> I, like a up I, I already looked down the pit. Listen, Jackie, yeah. your yeah. name yeah. was. Uh -huh. I'm I'm Dr. Jensen Blake. I'm a psychologist. Uh, nice, nice to if meet you. If you need my services, you know maybe fall in the hole, hit your I head, mean, and somehow make it back out. I, I, well, I mean, I think there's a lot of people out here who could use a psychologist, so that seems like a good person to have. Yeah. I mean, I, I think... also deal with magical ailments. Do you work for Trident? Yeah. Me? Oh. Well, there's magical the ailments. Yeah, do you work for Trident? N no, I, I'm i independent. <laughs> oh, okay. Does Trident do psychology? I would think so, considering what they do. Like, it's like Trident's whole thing to, you know, know, like... Perception is really... I feel like the massive... I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I'm not, not really sure I want to submit to what Trident's psychology. Yeah. I'm planning on asking Avalon for a job, so I might be working for Avalon, but not try to. Uh huh. No. Oh. Look at that. Um. Yeah, they kind of like this. I guess they're okay. Like I said to them, I'm Dr. Jensen Blake. I'm a psychologist. Um, if you need my services, I'm going to be moving into the road sometime soon, hopefully. Uh, Do you need a job, like apart from the psychology? Uh, yeah. I no, I don't need a job. I'll bring it back something um, cool. Are you want? sure? Because like, what if like business is slow? Well, that's why I was gonna ask We're Avalon. Not hiring, so never mind. Cause... Oh, um, <laughs> who are you? Uh, I'm a, I'm Amelia Skylock, uh, Gab head of PR. I see, Gab head of PR. All right. It, yeah, we it, might be like hiring in like a like a month or so, but like right now, I kind of realize we're actually like kind of good. I had a different one without the pay. I don't uh, really have much reason to be working for Geb, but 
it, thanks for the offer. Okay. I mean, it's like just like making money or whatever, you know. Uh, I I guess. But, uh, Thanks for everyone needs money. Yeah, I. Would be a really useful thing. I'm I'm doing okay with money. Finances are not a problem. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it was... What kind of book is that? I, I, I got the same book too. Well, I don't think it's the same though. I got this from the library. Ayla took me and. Oh, maybe it's. Maybe it's about... I than I thought. Do you understand magic at all? I thought I understood mind magic, but I'm slowly learning that the magic I know is not exactly the same. It's similar, but not the same. I'm not sure. Um, I know a bit. Okay, huh. I mean, one of the things I'm trying to do is treat people that have mental ailments caused by magic. Uh, that's one of the things I'm focusing on. So, as I've seen it happen, and I don't know anybody who can treat that, so... That's what I'm trying to do. There used to be someone who did that. Mm -hmm. The only thing I'd recommend, though, is to make sure that if you're going to be delving into the mind, to make sure you actually have a tutor teacher because, you know, you don't want to try to do mind magic or any kind of that sorcery on somebody and uh, shatter their mind because uh, delving, delving into that magic can be a little bit dangerous. But, well, I'm not Masari, but... I'm... I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Well... Yeah. It was a pleasure meeting you, Miss Skylark. I'll, uh... I'll be going. I'll leave you to what was it. it. What was your name again? Dr. Jensen Blake. Blake, got it. Mr. Blake. Yes. Is that, that good? It's doctor, but it's fine. I don't really... Doctor, care. Dr. Blake. Yes. It was a pleasure. Take care. You too. Kenji? Uh, this guy.